Hello everyone, welcome back to Okami. So, in the last episode we started this uh, adventure with uh, Amaterasu and we uh, headed to Kamiki Village. Or we started to. Uh, we are going back. I went back through the portal just to save where we ended up uh, last time. But we're going to actually do some exploring now. So, let's take a look around. Cause it, we've obviously restored the village but it's pretty dark and... There's definitely stuff happening. Let's have a look. Oh, what's going on with this chap? Huh. What in the world? I don't remember there being a statue here. Well, whatever. Let's go talk to the villagers. Okay. Oh, damn. What is going on here? It's like it's stuck. There's a statue here too. It's like the villagers have turned to stone. Oh. Not again. That's not one of those smaller monsters we're look looking about. A royal that's got to belong to something much bigger. Let's hurry up and find something with a pulse around here. Okay. There's another save station over there. Is this another statue? Yeah, it looks like it. Everyone here was perfectly fine just a few hours ago. There's definitely something strange going on. Okay, find some high ground. Okay, oh, alright, let's follow the arrow. Because there was two ways you could go down into this village, or you can go up the uh, up the side of the mountain. So there's definitely something strange going on. I'd agree with that, Ethan. Let's find some high ground so we can take a look. And yeah, that's where we're going. Definitely something strange. Oh, yeah, it's just the same thing. This is bad. The sun's not even shining. It's as black as the night, as far as the eye can see. And not a single villager can move a muscle. Is this some kind of curse? Did a monster do this? It's not going to start like this forever, is it? If only the sun were out to light our way. Yeah, we've got to draw the sun then, haven't we? That would be impossible even for a god. We'd better seek out another brush god for help. Of course, if we had that kind of power from the start, that would be a different story. Wow. I hate to disappoint you, Eason. Oh, wicked. What the? Come to think of it, your name is Amaterasu. That's the name of the sun god. So it follow that you had the sunrise technique from the start. You could turn every night into day. You're never running the milk god, that's for sure. Flown brushes like music from the heavens. That's a line from my grandfather's poems. He felt a skilled artist was like a musician of shape and colour. Since you're such a great artist yourself, why don't we name your brushwork after the poem of his? It's called Celestial Brush. After all, your brush did bring out the sun. Well, I mean, let's get back to the village. we got to see if the village is about to normal now. Hmm, who are you? What the hell? Village Elder, Mr. Orange. A white Wolf? Not the one who fought that terrible creature with Nagi. You couldn't possibly be the legendary Shiranui. No, it can't be. That story is a hundred years old. Still, <laughs> Amy's just like, yeah, whatever, mate. Still, you look a lot like that statue of Shiranui. On the other hand, you don't look quite as smart. He's like, what'd you say? No need to growl like that. Can you really understand what I'm saying? Well, I'm not one to mince words. I just state the facts. 
Oh, great. Hmm? What's this sudden chill down my spine? Here they come, Furball. Those are the monsters they've been plagued. They've been plaguing these lands. They sneak into villages and cause all sorts of trouble. Step aside, Furball. This is a job for my trusty sword, Danko Maru. <laughs> can't we just use him as a battering ram? All right, let's deal with these chumps. Nice. Ah, because we defeated the monsters, it's re restored the nature of the area. That's cool. Wow. You really get aggressive when you're mad, don't you? You got yourself some praise. And look, see how that dried up springs began flowing again? That's ridding the area, ridding an area of monsters restores the gods' power to the land. It's called divine intervention. The more you restore a land to its natural beauty, the more praise you'll get. It's the source of your power. Few people believe in gods these days, but it, and that may weaken you, but if you try real hard, your true power just may shine through. There sure have been a lot of monsters around lately, and that Mr. Orange you tossed her up on the sacred deck. Looks like he thinks you're a regular wolf. Soon the gods have grown so weak, people can't see them anymore. Oh, uh, anyway, I'll show you around the village. I have a feeling we're in for an epic adventure. This should be fun, Furball. Feedback. Uh, okay. Why, you little devil? Look at this sweet grub you found. Hey, wait, this is animal food. We could save it to give to animals. Let's use it when we try to approach animals later. Something good may come out of using it the right way. I know gods aren't supposed to use creatures in this manner, but what the heck? Let's make an exception this time. There was something I wanted to tell you. Whenever you want to check the items you've obtained, just press the. Oh, it's the pause. Pad. So let's have a little look. So this is the fan made. Look at that artwork of uh, Amaterasu. It's just stunning. So yeah, it basically tells us. Yeah, solar energy is our um, life. Uh, ink pot is for the ink, obviously, and the astral pouch uh, is it saves us from death if it's full and a purse for our coins. Now, every time we get praise, we can actually inject that praise into a stat. So, for instance, like that. But because it can't fill it, we're not going to get anywhere with it just yet. We've also got our um, ink powers here for the Celestial Brush, a logbook, travel guide and bestiary, a map, and obviously we can close the, the fan. However, I am going to see if... Okay. I was going to see if I could... Um, if I could uh, invert the uh, camera controls, but it's okay. Oh, damn, is that Mr. Orange? <laughs> Grey Shiranui, oh no. Ah, I feel it. I sense it. Foul beasts dwell in this place. Concentrate, look hard. You see right behind you now. Oh damn, okay, they literally were right behind me. Nice. Awesome. Humans are not witness to such battles, but I saw it. The fighting went on for exactly 13 seconds. Okay. Thank you, I guess. Weird flute man. <laughs> How incredible this place looks. 
just look it's just mad isn't it like it looks amazing mushy's mama i've just had about enough of this i don't know if it's stray dogs or monsters or what but someone keeps messing up my crops going around digging holes with triangle it makes me mad okay that's another dog Hmm, a white wolf. Now that's just plain weird. Sure looks like, look like a little weak bugger. I think you could beat my dog. Think you could beat my dog? Dog Hayabusa? Well, listen to this. There's his feel of my mama tends to, you see. Well, Hayabusa managed to dig up nine turnips in a row, even though my mama was chasing him around trying to slug him. There are actually ten turnips in that field. Hayabusa is fixing to get all ten. Okay, so maybe we have to uh, try and get all ten at some point. Oh, this is Mrs. Orange. A white wolf. Now, that's a wear side. Did you come down from the mountains just to play? Well, you better be careful, dear. Lately, some monsters have been attacking the villagers. Do you even know who you're talking to, Grandma? This here is Shiranui, reborn. The wolf and I have it covered. These monsters are history. What well, if it isn't Eason? I'm riding a wolf, are we? This one certainly resembles uh, Shiranui, especially the nose. Well, I better get back to my work. Okay. So that's all that. Let's have a little wander around. There's bound to be something for us to do. Oh yeah, there was this guy. Heave. This is weird. My mind really wants to shift this rock, but my body won't cooperate. It's like I'm made of lead. Could this be a case of demonic possession? I sure hope not. Oh, what's this one then? Spanky Monk Katarsen. Uh Okay, let's get rid of the normal chaps first. Oh, okay. I think you've got to get rid of his guitar first by, because uh, he's using it as a shield, isn't he? Yeah, I think you've got to get rid of the guitar with the power slash and then basically go for him. Oh, more praise. Whoa, Amy. You suddenly started glowing. That means your divine attributes can be enhanced. Well, you sure look excited. Here, let me show you what I mean. Oh, victory sneeze. Thank you very much. Excuse me. Let's take a stab at enhancing your divine attributes. Oh, this is what we were trying to do before, but we didn't have enough. So, yeah, it gives us another bit of uh, solar energy. It's hard to notice such a small enhancement. I'll oh, lighten up, Furball. This is one big step for the new and improved Amaterasu. Keep up the good work. We better check on in on that dude. I feel as light as a feather now. Sadly, that doesn't make it any easier to shift this boulder. We went and blocked the only who went and blocked the only path out of here anyway. There's no way I could go back to the city now. Say, pup, you only live here in the village, right? So you must know that guy, Sasano. Can you come get him out here? They say he's the descendant of the legendary hero Nagi. If anyone could do something about this rock, it's him. That's strange. This boulder wasn't here before. Okay, so we need to go and meet someone called um, Susano. Is he. Sheesh, he's also always snoring like a bear. This is the home of that two bit middle aged warrior, Susano. He goes around claiming to be the descendant of Nagi. He's famous around here for his lineage, but he's awfully lazy and too off the wall to be a descendant of a legendary hero. Okay, let's go have a look. Is it just me or can you hear snoring from underneath this jug? I was going to say, maybe we can headbutt it out of the way. I love Susano's theme, it's so funny. 
I am the... Let's headbutt him. What the? Huh? Oh, I feel so well rested. I planned to meditate underground, but I fell fast asleep. Huh? Who are you? And what business do you have with Susano, the greatest warrior ever? The great warrior Susano. Why is his sword got a branch on it? Do even the beasts know of my great exploits now? Well, Fido, I am not looking for an apprentices. Go back to the mountains and play with your monkey friends. How dare a mangy mutt like you interrupt my meditation. You were asleep, dude. Get a load of this guy, all brawn, no brain. Quit missing around and come with us. Hmm? You snuck in here again? Quit bugging me, you... you bug. I told you, don't call me a bug. Come on, Amy, we're taking him with us. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Put me down this instant. What will the neighbours think? Sod the neighbours, you're coming with me, sunshine. Oh, that's so funny. I should say we climbed a ladder with him on our back. And surely, Susano could just roll off if he really wanted to. Oh, so funny. Yeah, deal with this. You mangy mutt. You brought me all the way here just to test yourself against me? Then prepare to taste the wrath of my trusty blade. Tohen Boku. Hold on a minute. You're the legendary Susano? Yep, none other than Susano, the greatest warrior ever lived. And by the way, never interrupt warriors engaged in battle. But I've got a favour to ask you. This huge boulder is blocking the path and it's really getting in my way. Can't you do something? What? Come on, please. I mean, you are Nagi's descendant, aren't you? Surely one stone's no match to your mighty skills. Mm. It's certainly not beyond my ability. Really? Great. Okay, then. No time like the present. Go for it. A board of this size is not very easy, even for me. This will require my utmost focus to magnify the power of my sword. I shall retire to the training grounds to make preparation. Wait for my return. Hmm, I wonder. I've never seen the guy train seriously, ever. Okay. He was sweating a little bit when we asked him to move that boulder, so, uh... <laughs> He's dozing off again. I know I told that merchant I could help, but a boulder of that size? I don't care if I'm a legendary bloodline, it's just too big. Hmm? Oh no, I can't believe I run out of, t uh, out of sake at a time like this. This won't do one bit. That's it for today, I'll just have to train tomorrow. Sake? Does he really think we're going to bring in some sake? Uh, sake is a Japanese spirit, if you didn't already know. Um, so we need to do something about him, but obviously he's not going to do anything until we get in some sake, so... Oh, we haven't spoken to this person yet. Kushi. Well, what a fine-looking wolf. What's your name? Mine's Kushi. It's a pleasure to meet you. Ah, she's a sake brewer. Working in the fields again, are you? Eason, are you and the wolf together? This is where I grow the rice for making my sake, you know. But I have to manage the harvest all on my own. It's hard work. Maybe I should have Susana give me a hand again. Oh, listen to me blabbering on. I just can't help chatting to you. I think you found a friend here. You meet many people who want to talk to you like this. You should talk to them two or even three times. Being a god and all, you can actually tell them when to talk because you'll see a triangle above their head. That means they still have something to say. Pays to listen. I really have a problem. I have to polish rice in the mill house before I can use it, but the mill's broken. A wicked monster broke it the other day. Oh, can we use the restorative to power to restore it? I should never have let that monster try my new thunder brew. A broken mill and flattened crops, that's all the thanks I got. Don't go give your monster sake, they're bad enough sober. Sheesh, what's she thinking? 
Anyway, I guess this is a matter of fixing stuff that is broken. Sounds like something you could handle with your brush, Amy. Yeah, so let's have a good look at it. So... Okay, I wasn't quite... Uh... Eh? Alright, let's do a full circle. There we go. It was the squiggle. I thought it was a circle. It's not. It's a squiggle for restorative. What's this? The mill's been mended? Who on earth did that? I'd completely given up on the idea of making my sake. But now I can get on with polishing the rice. I better get started. Excellent. So we fixed her water wheel. So that hopefully means that we can get some sake out of her. Let's go in. Oh, she's petting us. You're interested in how to brew sake, are you, Snowy? Well, there's this thing. This thing here is for polishing the rice, you see. Oh, I'll tell you what. I've got something you'll like. Leftover stock, but I made it myself. It's called Vista of the Gods. Are you even old enough to drink, Snowy? One day I produce sake that will remember in legend forever. Okay, how do I pick it? Can I pick it up? Okay, maybe I just have to... Consumed rice balls. Oh, there's some rice balls there. Bale of rice. Okay. I don't want to bite her, do you know what I mean? Oh no, no, I'm picking it up, that's fine. I was going to say, I, just, I didn't want to risk biting her. <laughs> yeah, here's some sake. <laughs> Woof. And, you know, bite. <laughs> Alright, let's bring this to Sasano and let's see what he says. Hold it right there, Fido. That smell, that's Kushi's famous home-brewed sake. For Fido, my friend, did you bring me some of Kushi's sake? Oh, what a glorious day. Good old sake. A man without drink is like a warrior with his trusty, without his trusty sword. In fact, it is said that Nagi himself relied on the power of sake in battle with the dreaded Araki. It's also clear now. Let the training begin. Let's try a bit of my usual routine. Here I come. Oh, we've got to help him out, I think. Feast your eyes on this. Susano style. Exploding implosion. Yeah, I think we've got to help him out a bit, because he's a bit of, he's obviously a bit of a nut already. Huh? Yeah. Oh god, he's gonna try on oh, that big thing now, isn't he? Susano style. Exploding implosion. I mean as you do. <laughs> that that's amazing. You you slice that huge rock clean in half. You really are something. Sasano's like, what is going on? <laughs> wow, I didn't think you could do it, pups. Me either. <laughs> uh, I mean, of course I could. After all, I am Sasano, the greatest warrior ever. You weren't just showing off when you said you're Nagi's descendant. Someone like you, you'd have no trouble fighting monsters off, huh? He's sweating now, look. Well, anyway, thanks a lot. Now I can start doing business again. Did you say m m monsters? Uh, of course, no problem. This is a job for the mon most skilled warrior in all of Nippon. Yes, I shall rid these lands of their vile presence. 
Just sit back and watch the great Susano work his magic. Oh god, he, he's obviously going to be a bit of a thing all the way through the game, isn't he? He shouldn't get all puffed up, he's nothing without us. Think we'll be okay? The monsters outside the village are nasty. Ah, oh, glorious Amaterasu. What a pleasure to witness your heroic deeds. I am in awe. When you cleave the boulder in two, my heart skipped a beat. To see your skills with the brush is to be witness to great art. Yeah, so we did give it a reward or something, lady? I hardly think your participation had any impact, little bug. It's Isun, 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 Isun. Stop calling me a bug. I'll crawl back into your kimono if you say that again. My word. Ah, oh, relax, lady. Furball's here, more comfy. <laughs> Let's get back to that reward thing you were talking about. I think it was you talking... Oh. <laughs> Come on, Abby, put your paw up or something. Go on. Shh. I must apologise. I would like to reward you, but I'm afraid I haven't the power. I can barely muster enough strength to make a flower bloom. Though my body stands firmly here within the confines of the village, my roots spread far and wide, protecting the remote areas outside. These parts of me are known as guardian saplings. They collect the praise and adoration that gives me strength. The recent evil is eroding the, is eroding the guardian saplings. If this continues, I will wilt away as well, and my power will vanish. Worse yet, the dark power grows stronger with each passing day. Life as we know it will be consumed utterly in no time. Oh man, this is getting heavy. Yeah, but Ami's just gone to sleep. <laughs> Great and powerful Amaterasu. Could I be so bold as to request your assistance in rejuvenating these guardian saplings by lifting the curse that enslaves them? I shall mark the locations of nearby saplings on your map. Okay. I have grown tired. I haven't even the strength to speak now. I hope my request is not falling on deaf ears. Amaterasu, may the, f may the fresh scent of flowers protect you always. Bah. I'm always itching for a good fight, but I sure don't want to poke my nose into this mess. Still, I'm stuck with Furball here till I get all the brush skills. Anyway, Am is a god at all. What could possibly go wrong? Hey, did you listen to her, Furball? You get the rest of the brush techniques to save the world. And I'll steal and learn them. Yeah, that's the ticket. At any rate, let's start by following those marks on the map. Okay, let's have a little look at this map. Uh, where are we? Oh, there we go. Okay, so Eastern Nippon. So we are there. Okay, let's have a chat with the merchants. I guess I better offload some stock before heading back. Feel free to take a look if you've been sent down to do the shopping, pup. Let's have a look, see what he's got. Every foot damage attacks. Damages nearby enemies. Steel fist sake. Increases attack power. Increases defense. Ooh. Okay, we've only got one of those. I think I might take a couple. Okay. Alright. I think this is the way we need to go. So we're leaving Kamiki Village for the time being. As always, guys, uh, I do hope you're enjoying this game. And if you are, do um, do hit that like button. Because like I said, I'll carry the game on if uh, I get enough likes on these two episodes. So, uh, huh? You probably know this already, Ami. But this here is uh, Shinshu Field. The most beautiful field in Nippon. 
At least it's supposed to be. But ever since that incident, I've been getting a bad vibe. We better watch where we're going. You can look at the map by holding down L2. Okay, so there's a sapling there. This is the f that's the first guardian sapling marked on the map. It's supposed to be a place for travellers to rest. But just look at it, it looks like it could fall over. This place is definitely cursed from the looks of it. Places where evil have taken hold, luring monsters from far and wide are known as cursed zones. But I've never seen one this big. It's withered all the plant life in the area, even that big tree. It'd take a monster with powers beyond even a god to do this. That tree is an offshoot of Sequoia. It protects nature in the area. Maybe the natural beauty here would return if we revived it. But how the heck could we do that? Okay, let's go have a look. Oh, these green things, by the way, they're monsters, so you want to try and avoid those if you can. When you look at that, I mean, this guardian sapling's a wreck. That's why Sakuya is hurting so bad. I bet the natural beauty would return if you revived that tree, but how could you possibly do something? Okay, I don't think there's a lot we can actually do right now. And he's a statue, so... Why don't we go... You see where the other one is up there? Let's see if we can go that way. Oh. Oh, got into a fight. There's a guitar gone. All right, that was easy enough. So we're going this way now. Who's this? Nameless man. What just happened? I was out here chopping wood and commuting with nature as usual, when I heard loud rumbling like an earthquake from the lake, and a huge gust of wind blew up out of nowhere. I don't know what happened next, but when I came to it was like this. My art workshop was just across the stream there, but it up and vanished when this curse site appeared. The earth must be angry. All I want to do is live with nature in peace, man. But now I can't. I noticed a figure running from the lake towards Kamiki. How, whoever it was, I hope Mother Earth kept them safe. Oh, they've got something else to say. Oh! What's up, nature buddy? Curious about that cave? It's the entrance to a place called Hana Valley. The site of an amazing waterfall, but the monsters have moved in now. There's a tip trippy crystal ball that makes plants grow. Oh! Not long ago, that Sasana guy went marching in there. It's weird. Normally, he runs away. And he hardly seems the type to try his hand at gardening. Anyway, it's bad karma, man. You should be attacked if you you could be attacked if you went in. Well, let's do exactly that. Let's see what this Hana Valley is all about, because uh, we that's what we need is something that can bring uh, trees alive. So this is Hana Valley, huh? Let me just have a quick sip of me brew. Uh, we've got a map, that's good. Let's save. I love these little bits of art that you see in the background when you uh, when you do things in the map or on the menu. Okay, let's do a bit of exploring. Traveler's Charm. Increase Godhood by one level. Okay, I'm not too sure what that means at the moment, so let's... Ah, uh... uh, okay. I we'll definitely want to be clearing these guys out, but there's two of those guitarists here. Which isn't good. Now show me your ass. I'll kick it. Oh, damn it, I've got no ink pot left. 
Yeah, some are going to have to really watch out for. Yeah, we're going to have to watch that because, like I say, it could be very easy to run out of ink. Nice, look at that. Oh no. I suppose because it's a curse zone, isn't it? We got rid of the monsters, so why didn't the gods' power disappear? I guess the curse of the gods of these lands must be really strong. They can't intervene until we do something about this stagnant air. Alright, oh, let's do something about it then. Feed bag for fish. Hey, check out that tree. It's moving. Better be careful, Amy. Hmm. Oh, wow. Okay. It's chucking stuff at us. You see that? It just threw some fruit at us. Show it with me in business. Try to hit its fruit back at it. Draw one quick stroke to hit the fruit. Oh, okay. Okay, so how do you do that then? Do you have to wait till it's lap? Oh no, it can't be because. Oh, it's a cross. Okay. Look, you stunned it with its own fruit. Let's pass by this creepy old tree while we can. I'm guessing we can't do anything about them yet, so let's just move on. Okay, we're not going that way because there's nothing there as of yet. To be honest, if we keep moving, we should be fine. Save wasting... Um, Save wasting ink. Alright, let's go. Okay, Sasano's here, so uh, things are going to get a little crazy. Oh, monsters. Oh, what's this? Oh, damn, he's got like a massive drum. Oh, Jesus, okay. The drummer and the mole. Again, let's get rid of the normal dudes. Let's get rid of them. Okay, do we need to... Okay. Okay, this guy's definitely harder. We are whittling him down, it's just obviously our attacks aren't very strong against him for some strange reason. Okay, so yeah, I need to get him at the ground and then... Uh Hit him with, uh, with a power slash. And S Sasano obviously saw nothing, did he? He didn't re he doesn't realise how much we've just saved his ass. Hmm. What's all that racket? Oh, it's you, Mutt. What are you doing here? Go home. I already told you. I'm not looking for apprentices. Anyway, Hana Valley is no place for a mutt like you. Beyond this point lies my secret training ground. It's the perfect place to hide. 
Uh, I mean, to train. Now, Scoot, be off with you. Fine, I guess. Right, let's go check this out, because this something happened here. Wow, check out that wall painting. It said the crystal sphere that makes trees gro trees grow is enshrined. Somewhere around here. Based on this painting, I said the river must be true. Still, something's not right. Don't you think something's missing? Oh, it's missing, alright. Let's hit it with the sun, huh? Nice. And of course, Asana is not going to thank us in the slightest. What in the heaven's name? How did that happen? Well, now I can go on hide. Uh, I mean, now I can go train. Oh, Susana, you massive fraud. <laughs> Alright, let's head this way then. Seeing as we've opened it up. Uh, wall jump. I love the way that every time Ami does that, it's sort of like... Loads of like flowers and stuff come around him. It's brilliant. Huh. What a strange place. Is this really the secret training ground Susano mentioned? Speaking of which, where'd Pops go anyway? Yeah, good point. What's up with this tiny sapling? I smell a faint scent like Sequoia's coming from this sampling. That's why there's an altar here. It's for worshipping the sun that shines up there in the valley. Ah. So do we need to put a sun there? I bet something will happen if we can just get this right. I know this room's hiding some kind of secret. What's up with this puddle? Looks pretty shinsy for what's supposed to be a grand altar. I bet there used to be something here on here. Oh, there's a... There's a gate down here. Let's go have a look. Oh, there's a save thing there. That's good to know. What's going on with Sasano now? What now? You, you foul beast. How did you get in here? Foul beast? It's a bear. With a leaf on his head. And he's asleep. Somehow. You have some nerve sneaking into my private training ground. Now you shall get a taste of my new secret technique. Your foul beast looked like an ordinary sleepy bear to me, Pops. End of talk, my blade thirsts for battle. Here goes nothing, Susano style. Sue. Oh, we were meant to help him out again, sorry. <laughs> Let's try again, Susano style. Sa. No. Susa, no. Now for Susano style. Exploding implosion. Ah, <laughs> oh, we woke him up. That'll teach you, you foolish beast. You're no match for my new secret technique. Oh. Ami's like... What? <laughs> Rest in peace, foul beast. He's asleep! The great warrior Susano condemns the offence, not the offender. Anyway, there are other monsters I must deal with. 
Oh, he's off again. What a moron. <laughs> <sighs> okay. So, I think... If this is for you to harvest or something, I don't know what plan. Yeah, we need to take this back to the shrine, I think. So let's do just that. I think we literally just need to like push it. There we go. Oh, oh, we were doing quite well there actually. Okay, let's get it up on to the shrine and then draw that sun again, because hopefully that'll be what. Uh, Someone had a lot of time on their hands to think all this up. So this was that sphere that wall, on that wall painting. So yeah, now we need to uh, get the sun down and... Uh, I bet this sphere here is magic or something. Oh, I bet you're right, Issen. Wow, power laser beam of life. Hey, is this a guardian sapling? It's all withered like the others. Who turned out the lights? Oh, it's another constellation, Amy. Ah. Are we going to get a new technique then? Because the last two we've done, we've got a technique every time. Okay. So you need a little bit more than just one star. Oh yeah, there's one here. Okay. There we go. Oh, damn. Oh, it's like a bear, I think, or a monkey. I can't tell. Sakagami. Oh, Amaterasu, origin of all that is good and mother to us all. My gratitude for releasing my body from its slumber. Please accept my humble thanks in return for your great kindness. I am Sakagami, one of the triumvirate of flora gods known as the Hanagami. My brethren and I have been entrusted with the brush techniques known collectively as Green Sprout. I now grab my humble power to you. Use it wisely. Okay, so he's part of a triumvirate, which means there's three of them. So I'm guessing the power is going to get stronger every time we get one. That was Sakagami, one of the gods of flora. Apparently the bloom brush technique can make flowers blossom simply by drawing a circle on the withered tree. Maybe it'll make the withered guardian saplings blossom too. Maybe it will. Quit fooling around, silly. Just draw a circle. I did. Okay, it has to be bigger. Oh, wow. Look at that. Wow. Oh, I freaking love this game. Just look how pretty that is. Like, graphically, it looks incredible. It's so effective. 30 praise. Nice. Wow. Look at how everything grew back. Sakuya wasn't kidding. So this is what Hana Valley is supposed to look like. Seems Sakuya's guardian sapling has lifted the evil curse. I'm not sure how weak the gods have become recently, but it must have taken some wickedly strong power to suppress this magnificent, magnificent guardian sapling. Even if you are Shiranu, Nui Reborn, we might be up against more than we bargained for. Hey, Ami, what about that withered guardian sapling outside? I bet you could revive it like you did this one. 
and bring that guardian sapling back to life. We might be able to lift the curse there too. What are we waiting for? Leap before you think. Awesome. Incredible. So, guys, I'm actually going to end the episode here because we've done quite a bit this episode. Now, again, this is part of your introduction to Okami. I said I'd do two episodes. So, what I want you to do is this. If you like this game and you like something about it, please comment about it in the comments. If you want to leave a like, leave a like. The more likes and comments this series gets before, like, before the end of probably next week, I will likely carry it on because... I like this game, and I'm going to play it either way, but if I, sh I would love to share it with you guys, but if you're not interested, then there's no point. But at the same time, if you want to see it, you have the power to get it onto my channel. So please let me know what you think, and uh, I'm hoping I get to share it with you guys, because this game is just stunning. And like I said, I've only ever really played a few hours of it, so I'd love to finish it. Uh, I'd love to finish it with you guys. So thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate you sticking around, and um, I'll hopefully see you for more Okami very soon. Sayonara.